I wanted to talk about measuring capacitors today. I'm going to be using this one right here. Uh, this is a 1% capacitor. It's supposed to be 0 0.5905, 0 0.5905. Um, and it's 1%, so it can be, uh, let's see, 1% would be 0.5. So plus or minus 0 0.005 um, or 0 0.006. Yeah, plus or minus 0 0.006 from, from that value. Let's measure it on a fancy meter here. Um, maybe, maybe this one's fancier, <laughs> uh, but this is a new one, 0.5977, okay, 5977. All right, and then let's measure it on this bridge here. Uh, this is an LCR bridge. I did a video on this. You can look it up. This is a 4260A, um, and you look at that light there, and you change the range until you... See that, it's on that side, and then this one went to that side, so now we can crank the crank towards the arrow, oh, and now it flopped. And so you get it to where it flops back and forth, and then you get right in there, and then you start looking at this meter, and you zero it. Okay, so we're gonna zero it right there, and we're at 0.957, okay? So so these two, these two meters agree almost perfectly, right? Then let's try this meter here. Uh, this is in a DVM, and we will measure the capacitance with this meter, and we get uh, 0.602. So uh, it does not agree with the other ones, but it, you know it's it's pretty close, right? It's certainly within uh, one percent as well. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about what what method do these use? Um, these two use somewhat equivalent uh, methods. Um, they use bridge circuits, and they take a look at the phase shift that the capacitor introduces in the bridge circuit. So they, they put in a sine wave, they look at the reflected sine wave, and they look at the phase difference and stuff because a, a, a capacitor will, will delay in phase. Um, so you could also use a vector network analyzer to measure capacitors. Um, but these are sort of off-the-shelf things for normal usage. Um, this will allow you to test the capacitor at different frequencies. These two cannot. So let's put it back on this one, all right? And uh, we will tell it we only want to do capacitors, okay? And then uh, we have that 0.597 again. Um, but we're going to say that was at one kilohertz. Here at 10 kilohertz, it's 0.598. At 100 kilohertz, it's ah, see, it went up to 639. It went it went higher. Uh, let's go to 100 hertz. A lot of capacitors are measured either at 100 hertz or 120 hertz. 599. We're getting closer to this one, and uh, we'll up here to 120. Uh, 0.599, and then go back to one kilohertz, and we are back to the 0.97. So this seems to be measuring around a kilohertz. This seems to be measuring around anything you want it to, and this thing seems to be measuring maybe around 100 hertz, something like that. Um, so like I said before, this measures a phase difference in a bridge circuit. This also measures a phase difference in a circuit. Um, this one, you can set what frequency you want to use. This one actually, when you change ranges, it actually change, fr changes frequency as well. So this is not a fixed frequency, um, but it chooses the, the best frequency for the particular value of capacitor that you have. All right, so um, what I really wanted to talk about was the difference between these two. This one, like I said, this one's a bridge circuit. It's gonna be very, very much like this one. So we'll just focus on these two orange things here. And uh, I wanna hook them up to an oscilloscope. I like using test equipment to look at test equipment. That's always one of my favorite things to do. I'm gonna be using one type of test equipment to test a different type of test equipment. And I love to do that. I love measuring things with measuring things. Um, so. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at what type of output signal this uses to measure capacitor. And we have the oscilloscope hooked up to the output leads, and it uses a sine wave. And in fact, it uses it's set to 120 hertz right now. If I push the frequency button, 
now it's a kilohertz hit the frequency button 10 kilohertz so you can test at all these different frequencies 100 kilohertz and 100 hertz so this outputs a pure sine wave into the device and then it's inside of a bridge and it can look at the phase information so that's what this one does this one thing's going to be doing the exact same information this is, uses about a 10 kilohertz signal it varies a little bit in frequency but it's around 10 kilohertz um, this one here is different so we'll, we'll measure this one um, let's see here let's move my oscilloscope over to that one so if you have a DVM that has a capacitance function they're going to be measuring it a different way from this one, okay? So, uh, this is now the DVM. You say, oh, it looks the same. It's probably just a sine wave. Let's move back up here. And you can see, uh oh, it's not looking like a sine wave. Uh, it's a ramp. So, they use a voltage ramp. They use an RC voltage ramp. They force a current, and then they measure the slope of the line, and that tells them what value capacitor you have. So, yeah, it's outputting different uh, it's outputting different values depending on the capacitance. Let me uh, let me put a different value capacitor in there, and we'll see if uh, the waveform changes shape here. Let's uh, let's do that. I'm putting in a 0 0.01 capacitor now. And yeah, you can see that the slope has changed because um, it's a smaller capacitor. So anyway, I thought it'd be interesting to look at that, uh, give you an idea that not everything measures things the same way. This measures it in uh, outputs of sine waves, measured, measured the uh, phase shift in a bridge. And this is definitely a bridge and you zero it so the bridge is balanced. And uh, then this thing outputs an RC time constant and that's the way it measures it. So anyway, fun fact, fun video for the day. <laughs>